none of that was recording. No! I'm going to get Esme some shorts, and I need new shorts, and we have a tag along, and I'm not sure everybody's thrilled about the tag along. Professional grumpy face maker. Cute noses though. Okay, we're getting some dinner. We're hitting up the mall, I think, or, or store, maybe Old Navy. I think that's where we're gonna go. Get some shorts, even though it's raining and it feels like it'll never be warm. Sometimes you just, you eat by yourself when your brother's driving you a little bit nuts. Hi, little brother. You little. Get your, <coughs> oh, bless you. You little nut, look at that face. Hi, Esme. She's rejoined the family. I'm so glad you're here. Oh yeah, that's nice. But she did tell me the only reason she rejoined is because we're sharing a drink and she wanted something to drink. So you know what? Can I tell you what the drink is? Oh man, no, I got the hiccups real bad. Can I tell them what drink it is? What do you think that sound is? Can I tell them the drink? I can't. Want to know a funny story about hiccups? What? One time I was driving. No, no, I wasn't driving. My grandpa was driving and I had the hiccups so bad. <laughs> we were driving along and he looked over and he's like went to scare me. So he like yelled <laughs> really loud. And I looked at him and I yelled back, like I screamed because I was like, what is happening? And then we both were quiet and then I went, hiccup. Like, I still had the hiccups. I was like, never do that again. I almost beat my pants. Jeez. Grandpas. Me too. Gra you too? Were you there? Yeah. Yeah. We were in heaven. I was like 15, so that's impossible. But anyway. I to be born. I was right watching, looking down, laughing. Okay, come down from there. All right. Went in, went in Old Navy. Where does it go? Flip it. Do I What color did you get? Ooh, yeah. nice. Let me see yours, Jack. Wanna, wanna switch? You can switch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for stuff. Got a little bag with things already on the go. All right, we did make a pit stop at Walmart and I got this old school toy. Do you guys remember these? Did you have them as kids? What are they called? Skippets? Okay, hey, ready, Esme? Let's see if I can got if I still got it. All right, here you go. One in a melon. Oh yeah, this is one of the outfits. One in a melon shirt, shorts. This guy got a little muscle tee. He loves those muscle tees. Okay, ready? See, see. You ready? Yep. What? What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa! Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Now my turn. My turn. My turn. <laughs> my turn. All right. Jack. Whoa, 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 so fast. Woo, nice one. All right, I need a coffee, and then I'm gonna show you what I got in the hall. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Name that movie. Okay, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so please ignore all of the roots that are showing right here. Okay, so we went to Old Navy, and then I went to Walmart to get one thing. This is what I got. So I picked up the Revlon uh, Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer. Jackie, I'm just doing something right here. What are you doing? It's locked, dude. It's locked. Help me. I'm doing something right now. How do you open it? Turn it. Where are you going? I got. I want to go outside. Okay, go out the side door. I want to go to this door. Side door. Huh? Also, I don't want you in the front yard. It's dangerous. Backyard. Go on the deck. So I'm in the market. Okay, bye. So I'm in the market for a professional hair blow dryer. This is not exactly it. But I was looking at the Dyson and I just cannot justify the price of the Dyson. Like, unless that is gifted to me, your girl here is probably not gonna have a Dyson. Um, but it is beautiful. The air wrap, because it has the blow dry brush situation. So there's this awesome YouTuber, I can't remember her name right now, but she's all hair stuff, hair product reviews, different hairstyles. She's got lots of like millions of followers. Anyway, she compared this Revlon uh, hair tool to the Dyson air wrap and honestly you could not tell the difference so I'm gonna give it a try it was a reasonable price I think it was like in the $60 range so still not cheap but uh, I'll let you know how it goes you'll probably see it on Instagram so follow me there at Amanda Muse okay. all right so this is like how long did that take us seven minutes or something 
It looks great, um, but it's very like voluminous and straight. Low because it can get really, really hot. So I kept it on low, sealed it with cold, and that's it. You like? I love it. Looks great. Thanks, little guinea pig. Okay, bye. <laughs> but I did want to get to Old Navy because Old Navy to me has like the best or one of the best, you know, areas to get summer clothes for everybody. So it lasts like a season or two. But to be honest, I that's where I tend to buy a lot of my t-shirts. I really like Old Navy for t-shirts. I don't know, like bum around the house, do mom activities, perfect. Um, okay, so one fun thing is they did have matching swimsuits for the entire family. So you know I had to do it. We have the watermelon print. One. Jack, daddy. <laughs> And of course, for me, I had to get one. You have to do it. It fits, covers the body parts, even has a little padding on the boobs, which I'm like not a big fan of padding on the boobs, so I may get rid of it. Uh, and it covers the booty. So, boom, and it's gonna be cute. So expect a family photo coming soon. Dean may or may not be in it, we'll see. Woohoo! it's a little on the bootylicious side, I'll tell you that much, but you know what? A little booty never hurts, so bam, bam. Cause I, got, I just wanna say thank you to all of those women who are flaunting their beautiful bodies all over Instagram in the best possible body positive way because as confident as a woman as I am, when I got a lot of junk in the trunk and it's jiggling on the beach, I'm not as confident as like I feel like I should be. And those women I feel like have given me permission to just like live this life with the body that I have and just freaking have fun. I needed some shorts and I needed some t-shirts and I tried on a ton of stuff and I only bought a few things. So I got this little t-shirt here. I'm digging the 90s print. It's got a weird kind of waffle texture, but I'm here for it. I went with a small, I feel like it's made a little bit large and I like the color. I love that mama bear, it's so cute. Um, so that's adorable. Just a nice casual, sort of has a vintage cream color to it. So another great one with shorts. I got this cozy pair to wear around the house. Um, they're a little bit like bootylicious, but I'm okay with that. So these are medium. I do find that Old Navy runs big. So I find the medium kind of big to be honest, but I don't want them to be like tight and short. Like who do I think I am? I want to be comfortable as I'm sitting on the sofa editing or drinking coffee or whatever else I do at home. So green shorts. I got a classic pair of um, denim shorts. To be honest, I could have just cut a pair of jeans that I own. But anyway, these are the nine inch Bermudas. They're an eight. They fit like very comfortable. In fact, the back is a little bit loose. I did not want tight shorts. This is a little sleeveless tank. I love that kind of high cut and I always buy myself a white t-shirt like every season. So medium for that. I tried this one on and I do like um, that pop of red. And then there's the back. Really comfortable, really casual to pair. As you can tell, you mix and match all of that casual, comfortable kind of stuff. Um, yeah, okay, so that is officially it for me. So on to Jack. My boy's into muscle, muscle shirts at the minute. Um, so he calls them undershirts and I love it shark muscle shirt so there's that and it's super soft it's like it's very cozy he wanted a full white one and i'm like boy you crazy you're like five years old um so little sharks so he's good for shorts esme was not good for shorts she's got a booty like her mama so she needed something a little extra she's up into the size eights now uh okay so here's what i got for esme shorts athletic shorts with the liner on the inside. I may or may not take out that liner, we'll see. Uh, but very light and comfortable. On the athletic side, we also got one of these little skorts or whatever they're called. So it has the shorts on the inside. The color is absolutely precious and um, it's very soft and comfortable. She's wearing a pair of shorts. Those are like her more casual shorts. And then I got her a pair of jean shorts, little cuties. These ones are the mid range or were these the short shorts? Oh no, mid-length. Um, listen, I don't feel like little girls need to have their booties hanging out and I'm not gonna like shame her for wanting to show off her little midriff and stuff, but there's a limit to me. And I feel like midriff is one thing, your booty hanging out the bottom is another. So I try to go a little longer on the shorts. We got a bunch of t-shirts, so she's wearing one and I got her this one. I love this print, I wish it would fit me, um, but this is very sweet. And then we got this one and then that's it. So that's everything. I'm sure you'll see a bunch of these on Instagram. I'm glad I got to sit down and show you. Yeah. 
Can you open my football? Oh, yeah. And Jackie got some footballs. And that's it. Should we, should we say bye to our friends? Wait, can you give me that for a second? I'm going to see which one. Oh, which yeah. one? I was very excited. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Um, I'll see you next week with another video. And if you've missed it, the video on Monday, what did we do? Oh, it was a really fun vlog. Like a real, real vlog. I was a little bit sour, but hey. C'est la vie. And also this week I had a really great podcast episode with my aunt where we spoke all about adoption. I'm going to link everything below. And if you could rate and review on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, that'd be awesome. I love all your faces. Mwah. Bye.